really wants that he fly. He wants that fly. I know. He knocked over your lantern and everything. <sighs> so like. What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fellow machine freaks, I hope you are enjoying your day. Today we're gonna work on this thing. I'm not quite sure how far these guys got, but I knew they were pretty close to being done when I left. It looks like the coolant's done draining. I got a really good start on the Ram Charger. I got my pile going over here, and then every bolt I take out, I just put back in where it belongs. And I did almost everything I can possibly do without taking the hood out of the way, like I'm six foot two. I'm slightly taller than the average individual. Saying that, it's easier for me if we just get the hood out of the way. I can fit down in there, start taking everything apart. So Danny and Danny's grandfather, I believe, are fixing fence. They're, they're not working on the dodge today. So while they're doing that, I'm gonna go back to my house, get something to eat. I also forgot my tripod mount and my PB blaster. So I can hit three birds with one stone, and then hopefully they'll be back for lunch, and then they can help me get the hood off. So it should be pretty good timing. Dan wasn't kidding about those birds. You gotta treat them well or they'll crap on your stuff. Luckily I don't really have to work in here today. There's two, there's two nests in here. I'd be evicting them very, very quickly. Got the carburetor off. Sometimes it must be nice to be a cow, or any animal that is. Probably a dog. Dogs don't have to do anything. And you feed them, you house them, and you treat them well. Dang you cows. They got the good life. So Danny and I are playing brothers, I guess, because we're wearing the same color shirt. We, we didn't plan that, we, we swear. Did you plan that? I, I, I love wearing this shirt. Everything's dis disconnected for the most part, I believe. Uh, we're just gonna torch off the two exhaust bolts on each side, so we got a total of four bolts we're gonna cut off. And then a couple of the transmission bolts are still like hand tight. Once we torch the exhaust, we'll get a jack under the transmission, undo those bolts, take the cherry picker, pull this engine out. Hopefully there's nothing connected. We kind of learned the first time. We've made more progress on the uh, charger. What are we working on over here, boys? Yeah, yeah up and over. Oh, no, I guess not. Teamwork makes the dream work. Well, right, Dan? He it, says, yeah. It depends on who's part of the teamwork sometimes, you know? You like that wrenching wrench? Yeah, that's cute. cute. A subscriber sent that to me. He's a nice guy. A fat Lee. Yep. This time around on this charger, we ended up cutting the manifold bolts. Uh, the last time I just took PV Blaster to them and it worked pretty good, but these ones were really rusty and crusty. So what we ended up actually doing was, so Danny's grandfather cut the three bolts and then when I came to the last one, his torch was too big. So what ended up happening was he actually sat underneath the truck and I held the torch on top of the truck and he was directing me how to cut the bolt, which was really, really sketchy but it worked extremely well. Like I didn't hit any single thing except for the bolt, which is phenomenal. Ian was even impressed. I was impressed. Ian and I had to step down to my house because I forgot to grab this. I really didn't think that we were gonna pull the engine today, but uh, I guess I kind of learned from last time, which is which is really good. Ian, are you breaking some of my stuff? No. Nope. What do you think of the nice paint job? It's something special. The, the drilling was excellent, you did. Are we going back to your place now? Why, where do you wanna go? Well, we got... No, we gotta go back. We gotta get this engine out. Don't let my brain start wandering. We can go 730 miles. It's getting pretty real pretty quick. Yeah. Ian and I grabbed everything that we had to grab. Now we gotta pick up around here so we can bring the cherry picker, the engine hoist over here to pull the engine out. Are you a fan of the diesel? Yes, sir. No, you're oh. not starting to get over here. Get this shot. All right. Are you a fan of the diesel? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah. 
It ain't no Cummins. You don't got one either. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how long did that take you to get? Uh, about two minutes after I gave the guy the money. Is this what we're using? Yeah. Is this gonna be strong enough? Should be. I don't think so, man. It picked up that tractor over there. It picked up a tractor? Is this a Harbor Freight model? That thing's huge, like massive. Are we gonna have enough truck? Danny's gonna go grab the tool Ian and I made. Ian. Yeah. That's a big uh that's the biggest engine left I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Ian and I ended up getting the engine out. Thank you, Ian. What's your overall thing that you want to accomplish here? I wanna put duels on my lawnmower. So these are gonna be your spacers, basically? Yeah. broke one tool, one extension. That's it. That's pretty good. I'm happy to say the engine's out. So we got two engines out. Now I just have to put this one in the Ram Charger that's down at my place. Oh. 